Hi, my name is Vinny. My name is Merling, and I have been part of the Way family for a little bit over a year now. I was on the force, so was he. I saw her walk into roll call, and I was kind of like, who is that? My heart started racing. I walk in, and I had a couple years on already, so I just go straight to the back, and there's this young kid up in the front. And so when the supervisors walk in, they start making fun of him, and they're like, oh, it's Vinny from Jersey. And so he like starts fist pumping, so that was my first impression of him. And we actually wound up working together on a couple of calls, and I just embarrassed myself, got my car and kind of drove away like, ah, I don't know what to say to her, so I'm just gonna leave. When Marling and I first started hanging out, I was like, there's something amazing about this woman, and I just, like, you can't put your finger on it, you're like, I don't, I don't know what it is, but there's just something, like, you have that, that feeling, and you're like, she's the one. There's no doubt about it, there's no question in my mind. I grabbed his hand and we held hands to go to the dance floor. And when I held his hand, I just felt like I knew him forever. We held hands with each other and it was like, literally like we knew each other forever. You know, it, it was kind of hard to kind of verbalize that to her because who wants to tell a woman that you just met? You're like, I think I love you and I, I want to marry you. When our relationship began, God really didn't have a big role in my life. I was raised as a Catholic. So I only really knew the rules and like, you had to go to church, you had, this is what you had to do to go to heaven. This is what you had to do to be forgiven. Being a Christian was my whole identity. When I met Marling, she mentioned church. I was kind of hesitant. I actually was very nervous. And the first time we almost got to the church, I was like, I can't do this. So we actually diverted and went to a diner, but then we wound up having a great conversation and it kind of, broke the ice for me to actually go and be like, all right, you know what, let's give it a shot. And then when I walked into the church, I'm like, well, this isn't exactly what I expected. And started hearing the pastor speak. I'm like, all right, yeah, I can get on board with this. This is kind of, this is nice. So when Vinny and I decided to move in together, um, we had this whole conversation and I told him that you know, like this isn't for convenience. I'm not looking for somebody to help me pay my bills because I got it. <laughs> I want to move in together. I, I want to live together and I want to, like we're going to get married. So I didn't see any issue with it. He gave me the promise ring and you know, we exchanged vows among just him and I. And we decided that this was it. And so that kind of, in my head, I was able to justify us moving in together. But there were many times that Marling had brought up, you know, this really isn't kind of the right way to do this. And I didn't understand that. I was still growing in my faith, so I didn't understand really the logic behind that. I struggled a lot with this decision. And, you know, I would go to church and I would start bawling, just crying, um, because you can't hear truth without it like piercing through and seeing what you're doing. Marling and I got engaged in February 2018 on a cruise between Haiti and Mexico, somewhere in the ocean. He's like, do you know how much I love you? Yes, Vinny, I love you this much. Yes, Vinny, he's like, do you, you know, did you know I love you this much? And he gets down on one knee and he gives me the ring and I'm surprised and I'm shocked. and. Beautiful moment, and so I got the big, the big rock, and it was exciting, you know. But um, it didn't really change anything. I know, and I knew then that God's way was better, but I justified it and kind of twisted the gospel, really, and the scriptures to fit with what I wanted to do. It spiritually stunted my growth and my relationship with God and my ability to talk to other people and share the gospel. Because how can I tell, you know, my friend, hey, let me tell you about Jesus and why, like, it's okay and why I, you know, have joy and why I don't fear and things like that. And then they're gonna say to me, but Merlin, you live with Vinny. What a hypocrite. It was difficult to try to explain this to Vinny where he would understand it. 
I really didn't understand it. And it was more recently than anything that I understood all of that, the context behind why that was bothersome to Marling. And so it wasn't until we went through Thrive and we um, had a conversation with our pastor and he said to me, you're getting the whole wedding thing confused with what marriage is. And so he's like, let's back it up a little bit. Marriage is, you know, something that God created that he instituted. So I realized that I was getting the big party that I couldn't afford, confused with just following what God says. And so if God says this is what marriage is between a man and a woman, and we do this through the government and through going to get legally married because that is the law, but that is his design for us, right? You have to follow man's law at the end of the day, right? So that was what opened up my eyes. Our original wedding plan was we are going to get married in November, November 9th of this year in Luray. Uh, we still plan on having that wedding, but that's just gonna be kind of like, for those people who can't make it to our new plan, which is to exchange vows on June 30th with our church family. Get married at the way, on stage, in front of our church family. And to share this, this God story with our loved ones and our friends and our family and our, and our church. So the reason for doing this isn't to make it right just, you know, for my conscience or for Vinny's or it isn't just to say we're going to go do it man's way. It's to, you know, go and, and be obedient to God out of love for God, not because I feel that if I don't do this, I'm not going to go to heaven, but because I say that I'm a Christian and that I love Jesus, but if I love him, then he is worthy enough for me to change my plans and, and change my justifications and do things his way. Like from the beginning, I could have chosen Jesus' way. But now that we're making this decision, I think we can actually make a bigger impact. Like Jesus and God just scream in the darkest moments of your life. And I know that his faithfulness has been very present throughout this journey. And so though I don't understand it all completely, I know it's a journey with God. And no matter how much I walk away from him, he's always there. This is his life, this is his story. At the end of the day, it's not about us. It's about our church family and having everybody understand why this is so important to us. This is grace, right? To be able to have the opportunity to bring beauty out of ashes.